I thought our one three one was solid. I thought that it uh, slowed them down. They were, you know, downhill on us, and we hadn't started scoring, but we still couldn't close the gap. And I think they were shooting fifty six percent the second half. So at that time, and then you know we closed them out. And if you look at the, you know, the second half numbers, then from there, I think they shot forty three percent, forty four percent. So I think it slowed them down a great deal. But it's something we played before too. And the way that Clark kind of came on in overtime, didn't have his maybe his best game overall, but can you talk about the way he kind of, it looked like he took things over? Yeah, he did a great job. We had a kind of a soft contest on him that got him going, then he hit that one. Uh, we, um, then he missed one, and Boston gets in and gets the offensive rebound. Uh, I try calling timeout. My kid says, no, I think we're good, and we take a bad shot, and pretty soon you get beat. And so, but the, Tony Carr was really good. I thought he did a lot of good things late, and that was a tough hit he had the late the last hit. And I'm asking you on behalf of our network folks, uh, is there any update on Jordy that you can give us? No, no, I won't know if I get him. Okay. Anything else? What kind of challenges did Lamar present for you guys in the first yeah, half? Yeah, he's so strong and athletic. He's really a good player. And, you know, I think he had, what, 17 at halftime? 16. 16 at halftime. And, you know, and, and then our guys guarding him were like one for 10. So you, know, you can't just get blasted um, in the first half like that. And, and that's a credit to Lamar and how good he is. Uh, but we have to be more prepared for the battle of a, a guy who's a warrior like that because he just attacks the rim. Anything else? Thanks. Thanks, good. Thank you. Yep.